Hypertension currently is the number one uh, reason for visits to physicians in the United States. It's a great contributor to many diseases such as stroke, heart attack, and kidney failure. The JNC 2014 guidelines for hypertension uh, spell out slightly higher goals for elderly population and the younger population. Those goals are 150 or less systolic in patients over the age of 60, and in that patient group, a diastolic blood pressure less than 90. For younger patients, the goal should be less than 140 systolic and less than, 100, or less than 90 uh, diastolic. This paradigm for treatment uh, has changed because blood pressure goals used to be lower. And what has come out of the JNC 2014 guideline review is that there was an increase in uh, harm to patients by trying to push blood pressure goals too low. And these included things like uh, increased chance of myocardial infarction, increased chance of very low blood pressures causing elderly patients to um, fall and uh, basically have hip fractures and so forth. The SPRINT trial is a study uh, which multi-center. It was designed to look at control of systolic blood pressure uh, and looking for comparison between uh, the goal of 140 systolic blood pressure as compared to a blood pressure goal of 120. What this study showed was that looking at the 9,000 participants across 90 centers, they found that decreasing the blood pressure systolic goal to 120 decreased uh, overall morbidity by approximately 33% and mortality by 25%. The implication of this trial is that the previous guidelines set out in JNC 2014 were high and that practitioners should be trying to go for lower uh, systolic blood pressures. Physicians need to be aware that the guidelines for hypertension remain controversial. Uh, due to this, they should really try to lower systolic blood pressure to general goals of 120 to 140, and they should do this by uh, using medications, but also by minimizing side effects for the patients.